With the Columbus Lab now secured on the International Space Station, the 10 orbiting astronauts that got it there have been working to get it up and running. Crew members had to hook up power, fluid and data lines, linking the new module to the station. French astronaut Leopold Ehotz went inside for a brief float around and said everything appeared to be in good shape. The shiny new lab is Europe's contribution to space research and cost two billion US dollars. It was taken up to the International Space Station by the shuttle Atlantis last week. Seven, six, main engine ignition. Four, three, two. So and lift off on Spatial Atlantis as Columbus sets sail on a voyage of science. And a voyage of science it's been. The spacewalk to get Columbus installed lasted eight hours. That's one and a half hours longer than usual. And they had to swap around their duties. That's because German astronaut Hans Schlegel was stuck inside because he became ill after liftoff. He said to be getting better, but space officials won't say what was wrong. The lab was supposed to go up in 1992 to commemorate the 500th anniversary of the sailing of Christopher Columbus. But space station and then shuttle problems delayed everything. The addition of Columbus expands the almost 10-year-old space station to eight rooms. That's lucky for Schlegel then, as he'll probably get his own sick room.